Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. It is monumental in some ways, and it is inspirational in others. There may be some confusion, yes, but there's also a whole lot of excitement and a lot to look forward to, especially for you. So let's start with what is happening right around the 5th and 6th, depending on where you are on the planet, you could even give a day on either side, but there are several things happening. And first is Mercury retrograde, your ruling planet going retro in your opposite sign. Now, what is distinct about this Mercury retrograde season? is that Mercury will be meeting Neptune in the sky repeatedly. That is one of the strongest signatures of this time. And what this tells me is that people, whether intentionally or unintentionally, especially people that you are aligned with, your one-on-one -on -one alliances, business partnerships, partnerships of all kind for that matter, are going to not be very clear. And so whether that's not clear in terms of what you want, uh, not clear in terms of what you're expecting or what they are expecting of you, uh, not clear of intentions, um, but also a sense of some restlessness can also be there as well where it comes to the people that you've aligned with, whether it's them acting that way or you feeling restless about the alliances that you have. Nothing is going to feel very clear where it comes to those one-on-one -on -one connections, at least not this month. And it is going to be once we get you towards the very end of the month and into next month in particular, that what looked so certain now starts to look completely different. And so allow yourself to give other people space where it is that it seems that it is needed. Miscommunications, misunderstandings are possible at this time, but so is an ability to surrender and to understand that other people are gonna do all kinds of things. And at the end of the day, it doesn't have to have anything to do with you. Now, right around the same time, we are having a new moon also in your opposite sign. This is happening hand in hand with Neptune as well. So all of that inspired, but sometimes confusing energy is there. However, the difference is with this new moon is that it is going to be speaking in harmony with Mars, with Saturn, with Pluto as well. And what this tells me is that there is tremendous power at this time. And this can be a time when you are introduced to people and especially where it is that you are reintroduced to people and you get a chance to start fresh, or you get a chance to align with them once again, that some of the bigger opportunities this month can find you. The truly monumental news this month is that under the light of this new moon, Uranus will change signs. Moving back into fellow Earth sign Taurus, you got a little taste of this energy in the middle of last year, but now here it is, Uranus moving, changing signs for a nice long stay for the better part of the next seven years. Now, this is important for a few reasons in the context of this month and in particular with this new moon. I do think the fact that these two celestial events are occurring somewhat simultaneously speaks volumes to some connection playing out there. Uranus, I spoke all about it in the Uranus special horoscope. I'll try to link to it in the description below. You can watch that on YouTube, but essentially this is the wake up call. This is also the urge and the impetus towards living more authentically in at least one area of life. And it is for you a part of the sky that has to do with understanding your place in the world uh, metaphorically, but also literally as well, and really expanding your horizons in all kinds of ways. And so this is the kind of month where it is the people that you connect with, the people that you spend time with, the people that you have aligned with and partnered with that in some way are part of expanding your mind, yes, but also expanding your horizons and bringing really huge opportunity, not just your normal everyday variety, but opportunities to really uh, be known and to put yourself in front of more of the world than you have before. Now, as we move later into the month, we are going to have a 
full moon. Now this full moon happens right around the equinox. So happy equinox to everyone out there right around the 21st. And this is where we have an activation taking place for you in a part of the sky that has to do with money matters. So this is money that you earn, money that you spend. One of the uh, themes as of late with the full moons that we've had has been that they are full moons, so they represent culmination, completion, uh, things coming full circle, becoming more apparent, being able to be more honest with yourself, but also because they're happening at the very beginning of their respective sign, with them they hold a sense of new beginnings. So for you, there very well may be a sense of whether it's a, a project or some financial path that you've been on coming to a close, but knowing that something else is beginning that feels especially rewarding. It can be a time when you are focused more on money matters or feeling like there are certain expenses that need to be paid. But again, it looks as if whatever uh, it is that is now coming to a close is quite exciting because you are also understanding that this is allowing you to go on a brand new journey. This part of the sky is also connected to self-esteem, self-worth. That is the value that you give to yourself and your understanding of how it is that uh, the possessions and the ways in which you accumulate things, what it is that that may speak to within you and learning through that sense of the things that you have acquired. And so this is going to be a chance to be more honest with yourself in that regard as well. At the end of the day, full moons can be uh, deeply emotional, but also very healing as well. And where it is that you've been hoping to understand more fully where you are in terms of self-love and to give yourself a boost in that regard, the kind that stays, the kind that allows you that sense of a new beginning, this full moon can be very helpful in that regard. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, I'm going right back to that new moon in the early part of the month because partnerships are covered here. And that includes romantic partnerships as well. There's uh, something here to be said for new people that you could meet or people that you connected with and then you thought that opportunity was gone or they kind of disappeared coming back around again. This is a chance for you to get in touch with that spirit that wants to know love, that wants to be carried away on an inspiration, on a feeling, on a, a romantic journey. Uh, at the same time though, there is enough energy here that brings stability to suggest that the events that transpire now, the newness that happens now, can be part of a long-term picture for your life. So if you are someone who's open to meeting someone new, a new moon in your opposite sign does tend to bring somebody new into the picture because this is ultimately about you seeing yourself differently, as I like to say, as reflected in the eyes of another. And so you get a chance to consider where you are in love and why. But yeah, chances are someone new will come along that in some way will awaken your imagination and awaken your desire, your hope for a connection with another person. Now, Mercury is retrograde, so all may not be clear, but things might work out better than you're expecting on the surface. That is possible, but you're going to have to wait a little bit, at least until we get into April for things to be more clear. Um, however, there is long-term potential here, and even if it is just a moment, an experience, it in some way informs you and shapes you for a long time to come. For those of you getting to know someone, this is a powerful time because we are going to have Pluto and Saturn in a dating part of the sky speaking to this new moon as well. And so what this says is that there is this sense of anyone you're getting to know that you are dating, uh, that you're hoping to learn more about, there is this sense of focus on the bigger picture and whether or not they fit into the bigger picture and feeling like things are moving in a direction that is more stable. Getting in touch with the part of you that desires deeper commitment can show up for you at this time and you start envisioning how it is that this person could work out as a partner in the long term. Again, all is not very clear, that really is okay. There's something to keep in mind if you are getting to know somebody or if you're in an established bond. 
and that is mercury retrograde in your opposite sign if a breakup does happen chances are you won't stay broken up uh, chances are that it is rooted in some sense of a misunderstanding or miscommunication and it is going to be once mercury goes direct towards the end of the month that things start to look very different and so if it feels as if uh, some uncertainty pops up for you this month with someone you're getting to know, or for those of you in an established bond, if you are feeling that sense of uncertainty with your partner, know that it is something to be worked through and that you may very well get another chance to understand more deeply what it is that is transpiring right now, and especially what it is that transpires for you in the days surrounding the new moon in the early part of the month. And if you are in an established bond, patience goes a very long way with energy like this. Um, and be mindful of promises at this time as well. It could be you making those promises or your partner making promises because the Neptunian energy is so strong with the best of intentions. Uh, the details may not be clear or the outcome may not be what it is that is being anticipated. And so strive to be gentle and patient with each other. And this could be a time of tremendous learning and navigating this space, especially at this time, can ultimately lead you towards understanding each other that much more deeply. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here, but look, I know that there is this very uh, powerful energy that I focused on in your opposite sign that speaks powerfully where it comes to matters of love and partnership. And yeah, other people might be a little bit confusing, but there is an area of life that seems to be coming more and more crystal clear. And that is the part of life that has to do with a more worldly understanding. And with Uranus moving into this part of the sky, with Mars continuing to move through this part of the sky as well throughout this month and making harmonious connections with other power players like Saturn, like Pluto, it tells me that this is an area of life, your understanding of the world, a shift in your worldview, that is an area that's gonna to start to look a whole lot different, but also is going to accelerate in terms of the opportunity that it brings you. And there is a sense now that you are becoming more than you were before. And it is a change and it is a sense of sophistication and excitement and enthusiasm about your life that you are ready for. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week unlimited access to special horoscopes that are also on my website, NadiaShaw.com, and so much more in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.